you guys already know, we've gone over 100 hidden secrets for Roblox doors just within this past week alone. And with the update being out for over two weeks at this point, there's gotta be even more, right? Well, these are 25 secrets you missed in the Doors Hotel Plus update. Smash like and subscribe, especially if you want more coming your way. Number 1. Within the lobby of the rooms, Krusty, a fellow Doors player, was actually able to find a hidden secret passageway that is behind this specific iron gate. There is nothing within this deep passageway, though it is odd that one is placed here, especially since most other secret doors within the game are often directly cut short. Number 2. We actually contacted Redables, the co-developer for Roblox Doors, about the iron gated door secret and they mentioned that it was going to be the entrance to the rooms like how you start in the elevator before walking into the hotel. Maybe the developers didn't have time to fully animate the cutscene, but this is why the passageway is still left behind in the game. Number 3, players can also notice the window ceiling on top of the rooms that does have an apparent skybox to it. With free cam option enabled though, we can quickly find out that the skybox is actually fake as it seems just a window was colored to appear that it had one. Number 4, if we dive into the door's wiki, especially inside the infamous A60's game files, we can actually find that A60's file name is actually called Creepy Face. And guess what? There are multiple versions of their face, especially since the entity does seem to morph into different versions in-game. They were all added on December 25th, which means the developers were working hard through Christmas to make the update happen. Number 5, many don't notice, but when you enter into the rooms, there is a sound effect that plays which sounds like wind blowing and rustling through the map. This is actually a hidden reference to the original rooms game, especially as it's the same same whooshing sound that the A200 entity utilizes. Number 6, free revives now exist within the game, allow me to clarify. If you're spectating players within the rooms and they manage to get to one of the exits in the game, you will automatically be revived upon entering back into the hotel. They will also be granted the achievement for escaping the rooms even though they physically didn't. Players who died before entering the rooms will also be revived upon entering as a part of a second chance challenge, which now proves that free revives can now be rewarded in game. Number 7, it's actually possible to spawn into a door run and not be able to get into the rooms, even if you do have a skeleton key enabled. This is because the double basement lever room can sometimes spawn more than two rooms away, which can be too far in order to activate the gate needed for the secret entrance. That's what I call a bad secret. Number 8, more paintings have been solved, we do have our first one being this weird painting called Alien Maze. This is actually a reference to Phaser Blast from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Number 9, this painting that is labeled the alley is also another reference, this time to level 474 from the back rooms. Number 10, after completing the rooms and reaching door A1000, unless you've been the whole entire challenge then you'd know, players will always be teleported back to the infirmary after fully completing the challenge. Maybe this room has deeper mystical powers than we first thought. Number 11, this was never mentioned, but if we take a closer look at Eyes' Look At Me achievement badge, we can notice that the icon of Eyes actually has way more eyes than what he normally has. He has 60 eyes compared to just 38 that they normally have. Number 12, if we take a super close look within the Doors game logo, we can notice a candle on the table. But more importantly, we can notice Dupe hiding behind a door with five skinny long fingers attached to their hands. This implies that the entity does in fact have a body, though it is relatively not shown during gameplay. 
Number 13, this painting simply called the cul-de-sac is not referenced to the cul-de-sac from Ed, Ed, and Eddie as most people think. It's actually a reference to a scene on Planet Kazamots from Disney's A Wrinkle in Time. Number 14, this painting that is named Finals is simply a cropped version of an exam room that was posted within the Liminal Space subreddit forum. Number 15, the spikes that are on top of the snare entity isn't actually spikes at all. Within the classified game files, we can reveal that this is actually the entity's teeth instead of the reference as spikes. Number 16, for some strange reason, there is a void asset that is built into the snare entity right in between its teeth in ring structure. It is unknown if this void structure is linked to the void entity or if it's just an empty space in general, though it just looks like dirt. Number 17, this painting of a house that is labeled the homestead is a direct reference to this old Twitter post by Title Clown talking about Splatfest. Pretty random, but okay. Number 18, the painting that is labeled the happy accident is also a reference to famous painter Bob Ross as the image is an edited version of the specific AI created picture by TikToker Greenskull. Number 19, this painting labeled late for work is a reference to the liminal space phenomenon, more specifically this painting of a white hallway in simplest terms. Number 20, Bob apparently has a very nasty kick as El Goblino mentions during one of their prompts. Nobody has ever seen this kick before, though some animations within the community have proven otherwise. Number 21, this painting of what appears to be labeled as the rooftop is yet another direct reference to this tweet posted by Liminal Spaces. What's with all the Liminal Space references lately though? Number 22, the violin painting within the hotel is indeed not actually a violin. The painting is showcasing a picture of a viola, which is a bit larger than its counterpart. Number 23, yet another painting, this time of a little bean sprout. This is actually a reference to the YouTuber Biju Mike, as they call their subscribers Scrubs. Number 24, going back to the crucifix's sigil, it was found out that an Islamic crescent is also within the design, though there are no star symbols to pair with it. The Doors Wiki also states that it could also be the seal of Solomon, strangely enough. Number 25, don't worry, it's not going to be another painting secret. But as posted by Nico Rocks, the original creator for Rooms has confirmed that the original game actually had no ending at all. The Rooms would just eventually keep going endlessly. Especially with the A-1001 door just beyond the void, could the door's developers also be doing the same eventually? How many of you would even want them to extend the Rooms even further? Like and subscribe for more secrets and take care.